Hello everyone, Professor D here. Today we're going to learn how to put together or manipulate or update a website. So you want to create a website, but you don't have the HTML skills along with the CSS, Java, script skills, and also the back-end development skills. So today I'm going to show you where you can get a framework for a website that you can build on your own. So let's get started. So as you can see, we are at three CSS.com and this is actually the website that you need to go to to be able to download a free CSS website. Now, there are many different websites on here that you can choose from, as you can see. But the one that I look, I'm looking for is on page two. And this is it. And it's called Jack. And I'm going to click on it. And then what you can do from there is it will say download and you can go ahead and download this to your computer i'm not going to download it to my computer because i already have it on my computer and here it is it's called jack free website template so once it is downloaded on your computer what i recommend is that you keep this download zip file but you're going to open it you're going to go to where it says jack you're going to double click that as well you're going to do control a to highlight all of your document all of your um files you're going to right click and you're going to say copy because you want to copy all of this you're going to minimize your window you're going to be on your desktop you're going to build a folder create a new folder and you can call your folder whatever you want. I'm going to call this blog test because I already have a blog folder that I'm working on right here. So I'm just going to call it blog test. Once you create your folder and how you do that is you right click, you click on new and you go to folder. Okay. Then that creates a new folder and then you just name your folder. So I'm going to delete that one. Okay. Because I have this one. So once you have your folder, what you're going to do is double click on your folder to open it. And then you're going to do control V on your computer to copy all of the files over to this particular folder. All right. Now, also what I recommend is that you already downloaded uh, a website uh uh, editor, an uh, HTML editor. I use um, brackets. I used to use Dreamweaver, but it became too expensive. So now I use brackets, and brackets is free. So if you want to go to brackets.io, you can download an editor, an HTML editor, unless you have a, a HTML editor on your computer. If you're using an iPad, Coda is a good uh html editor to use for an ipad okay i'm on a laptop pc so i'm going to use um brackets all right so your first file is your index file that is your home file so i'm going to right click on it and i'm going to say open with brackets because i need this file to open with brackets so that i can change the information that's in the file but before we change the information that's in this file and you can see all the coding i'm scrolling down so you can see it what i'm going to do is click on preview so a live preview so i'm going to the right corner it looks like a lightning bolt i'm clicking on that so we can see what this website looks like so here it is it's giving us a live preview and we see we have um more features and Jack Blogger, and we have Read and uh, More and Contacts. These are buttons, 
and everything on here actually works so if you go it'll take you to where it is okay so it's it's going everything works so that's why it's good sometimes to use a framework so this is what we have um, let me just do that slowly so you can see the entire website okay so anytime you're using CSS um, free CSS web uh, templates make sure you read the license agreement so that you can use use that on your um, website so sometimes they say you have to keep the link some some websites that give you templates they say you have to keep the link so make sure you're following all the rules you see you have a slider and this is working already and if i click on about it takes you to the about page if i click on marketing it's going to take you to the marketing page and if i click on blog it's going to take you to the blog page right so it's going to take you to the blog page and you'll see everything that you have contact us you'll see a contact page to make this form work you need to understand back in development so as we move forward i will show you this but for today's lesson we're not going to go into any back in development if we click on login okay that's probably the only link that doesn't work log in and register do, do not work okay but everything else is working so that's this perfect all right it's it's enough to give us a start so i'm going to x out of this and go back to my html editor now what we need to understand and we went over this in class is that we're looking for h1s or h2s or h3s or h4s all the way to h6 so we can change that information all right so let me just go back up here this uh doc type is telling us that we are working in html5 here is the HTML language, and we know that language is English. This is our head, and these are all of our meta tags. In the meta tags, you want to put, where it says keywords, you want to put whatever your website keywords right in here. For the meta name description, you're going to type in the name of your uh, website. So for this demonstration, we're calling this... Uh, whatever you want to call it blank design and that's what it is it's blank design so mine's my website may be computer design okay just to give you a name and where it says author you go right over here where it says content and put in your first and last name make sure you fill this out because the key words actually is how the search engines find you along with other um, elements but I'm just letting you know that is one way and the description it's it's telling the the bots how what's on this website and then your your name if you're the one that is uh, manipulating this website or updating this website okay so you can go to uh, any website and find that information if you go to a website and I'm not going to do it here but if you uh, go to a website or maybe I should do it here. So let me just do that. Um, let me just go here. And I'm just going to right click on this website and go to view page source, right? So this is the website we were on, freecss.com. And I'm clicking on that. And you can see it has all the metadata here for you. Let me get rid of my little, close this little box here, that little window. Okay, you can see it has your data your doc type it has that is HTML and it has all your metadata here all right so all right now we're back at our HTML editor and so I'm just going down I'm just going down 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 and 
if you look at this, you will see you have an image and the image is a logo and it's a PNG. And it, you know, you scroll over top of it and it shows you um, a picture of it. So um, this actually is your navigation system. It's pretty easy to read for first time users. Um, if you don't know a lot about HTML, this is pretty easy to read. What I would recommend is when you click on the live preview, and I'll do it again just so you know it's the lightning bolt at the right-hand side if you're using brackets. What I would do is take a picture of this website so that I know what is on the website. So when I go back to my HTML, I know what I'm looking at. So this is Navigation for Home and About and Marketing and Blog and Contact Us. And remember, we said the login and the register did not work. And that's fine. And then we want to go on down. And we see it's giving us the slider, um, the carousel, because it's telling us what it's doing, right? And then we are going all the way down. And here we see some H4s. And it says more featured right more featured in so if you want to change that you just click right in between your h4 tags okay and then you just take out the words that they have in and i'm just going to put in here change this so that you know and then i'm just going to put in um someone's name here so Okay, and then the read more and the contact us, we know our buttons because it tells us right here is buttons. So let's go back and do, um, we're going to save it. So we're going to go file and let's go save all and then click the lightning bolt, which is your live preview in brackets. And you're going to see change this and Gwen Duncan. And we'll see exactly where we change it. See, change this and Gwen Duncan. So you can put in whatever words you like and then put in your description. We want to keep the buttons the same, though. So let's go back to our HTML editor. And what we're going to do is you can put in any words you want right here. Okay, from the P is the paragraph tags, right? Because we went over that in class. So if you're on YouTube and you don't know what the HTML tags are, you should just um, make sure you do a search for HTML tags and then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is pretty straightforward, pretty simple. We're going to again change the H4, so the biggest and most awesome camera of the year. So where is that? So if you have a picture of this already, you'll know you can look at your picture and find that. But let's see. Camera of the year is what here it is. So it's it's tell it's it's right here. So if we can change go back and change those words, okay? So what we're gonna do, biggest and the most awesome camera of the year. I'm just going to you don't have to highlight it, you can um you can just type over it. And I'm just going to put change this. The date, you would change the date. I'm just going to change this date to 2020. Put the real date on here. And then under your P tags, you just type in what you want. Now, when you're doing this, you have to be very meticulous and methodical about it. You can't just start deleting things because you're going to um, destroy your website. So make sure you're taking your time and you're only changing your h tags right you're changing your h tag so this is the h tag so you're changing this okay and i'm just going to put in change this so you can see and then put in the correct date i'm just going to leave it like that and put 2020 in and then you're going to put whatever the description is right there i'm not going to put anything there and then this is the button that says read more so make sure that's there all right, so again, we're only changing our H tags. All right, so this is the H tag. Where can I get some? So let's go back and look at our live preview and see where does it say where can I get some. 
so let's look we're looking for here it is where can i get some and this is the marketing piece okay so you want to change that so let's go back and we're looking for and and you can do the fine and you can say fine and you can just put the words where and it should come up so that's the easiest way so you can just change this all right so i'm gonna just put on here change this okay and then you could put in the correct date and then you would put in whatever the words are that you want to put in all right and then you see comments and these are your comments down here and what i where do we use it let's see let's go to file and i like to do save all i'm going to the lightning bolt and um, we're waiting for the live preview to come up we're scrolling down and there's your comments and what i um you can change your comments if you want to um post comments you can leave that there if you want to um because this is we're doing this in class so this is a blog and that is basically how you change the text of your website okay so if you don't want something in let's let's just play with this for a second say i don't want the marketing piece in so i'm going to uh, i'm going to go back to my html editor i'm going to go to edit i'm going to i mean i'm going to go to find and i'm going to put in marketing okay so it gives me a marketing but you have to make sure that you're at the right one so let's see it doesn't look like i'm in okay it does heading heading it says marketing okay and this is where i changed the information right so what we're going to do is we are going to take out marketing now you don't have to do this i'm just saying this is just an example you do not have to do this so i'm gonna take out the image i'm going all the way down here um and i'm just going to highlight what i want to take out and i'm going to click delete okay and then i'm just going to all right so save all i'm going to do the lightning bolt this is just an example and i'm waiting for so now the marketing oh but my marketing header's still there but everything else is gone everything else is gone okay so uh my marketing header is still there and here's the header piece of it so i can take out that and i can say save all and go back here and there we go my marketing header is gone okay so that's how you do it um and in the next lesson, we'll talk just a little bit about how to manipulate the pictures, which is a little bit more methodical. But for right now, just go through your about page um, your, and change your words. Your marketing page, you may not want to call it marketing, so you want to make a note of what you want to call it in, in your blog and change all your text. And your contact us and change all your text now your login and your register they don't work it's, you click on them they don't go anywhere but we're going to um, actually take those out 
in the next coming lesson. So if you like this lesson, if it helped you in any way, please like, share, and subscribe. I'm trying to get to 1,000 uh, subscribers before next year. So I've never really promoted this um, YouTube channel. I've only used it for my uh, students but I am starting next year. I know I keep saying this, but I haven't done it yet. But starting the beginning of the year, I want to promote this channel. So I need to have a thousand subscribers in order to do that. So help me as I help you. And go ahead and put in the comments exactly what you would like me to upload and teach so that you can learn it. Because I'm teaching anyway and i love teaching it is what i do so i'll see you all in the next lesson bye bye